Hello and welcome. In this hands-on video, I will show you how to host a website in IIS on the Microsoft Azure virtual machine. So let's get started. Before we create a virtual machine, I want to show you this website here. This is a website I have locally on my machine. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to create a virtual machine and set up a web server and then migrate this website here. So let's go back to the portal. We are going to click on the blade menu right here. This is the Azure menu. And then we are going to click on all services. Then click on compute. And now let's click on virtual machines. Now let's click on create. We are going to click on the first one, Azure virtual machine. From here, we're going to create a new resource group. Let's click on create new. We are going to call it VMRG. Then click OK. And the name of a virtual machine, we're going to call it VM website. So we're going to leave everything as default here. Let's move on on the image. We're going to change it to Windows Server 2022. So if you don't see it, just type Windows and you should see it. So let's go ahead and click on this one here, Windows Server 2022 Data Center. Okay, so let's go down a little bit here. We are going to leave the size as default. Now, let's go ahead and provide the username and password going to allow us to RDP into this VM. So I'm going to call it admin user. Then let's go ahead and provide a password. Confirm password. And let's go down here. You want to make sure the RDP is selected. So now let's go ahead and click next. We're going to leave the disk as default here. So let's move on on networking. It's going to create also a new virtual network. So let's go ahead and click review plus create. So currently it's checking everything is fine before we proceed. So validation passed, meaning we can go ahead and click create. Okay, the deployment is in progress. I will pause the recording and come back once it's complete. All right, the deployment is complete. So now let's go ahead and click go to resource. So now what we're gonna be doing here, we are going to RTP into this machine and then install the web server. To allow us to host our website so let's click on connect click on rdp then download rdp file and double click on it then click connect so you guys recall i did provide a username while creating this virtual machine so i'm going to provide a password it's going to allow us to rdp to this machine. Now let's click OK. Then click Yes. Okay, so currently it's connecting to a virtual machine. Okay, so now we can click on Yes. And let's close this one here. Okay, so now let's click on local server. You want to disable this uh, security feature. So by clicking right here, let's turn it off. Yeah, and click OK. Now let's go ahead and install the web server IIS. We're going to use PowerShell. So in the search bar, just tap PowerShell. Then right click on Windows PowerShell ISE and run it as administrator. We are going to use this method to install the web server. I will provide this command in the description of this video. Now let's press enter. Is going to install the IIS web server. I will pause the recording and come back once it's complete. All right, so the installation is complete. So now let's go ahead and check it out by tapping in the search bar IIS. Now let's go ahead and click on it. Okay, so let's click right here. Then let's click on sites. And this is the default website of IIS. So let's click on it and then click on browse right here to test it. So 
So this is the IIS welcome page, okay? So we don't really need it right now. So let's go ahead and just close it. So right click here and close. So what we're gonna be doing here, we are going to create a new website, okay? But we can use this one as well, just to test. But if you right click on the website and click explore, you're going to see the content of this website. We can just delete this content and just paste our new uh, website content here and it's going to work. But I wanna show you guys how to create a new site. So let's go ahead, right click here and create a new folder. Let's call it demo website. Okay, so let's double click on it. We're going to copy this location. We're going to use it later on. So let's copy it. And let's just minimize this one here. Now we can go ahead and stop this default website by clicking right here, stop. Then right click on sites right here and click on add website. So let's call it demo website. And we're going to paste the location. And then let's click OK. Click Yes. So now let's right click on the website and click Explore. This is the website I was showing you guys earlier. Okay, so this is the container I have on my local machine. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm just going to select all, right click, copy it. This is from my local machine. Then go back to the Azure virtual machine. Okay, let's open the location. So this is the location we want to paste. So right click and paste. And then we're going to test it. Okay, so we can close this one here. And now if we click on browse, we should see the website. As you guys can see, this is the website. So now let's go back to the Azure portal and to try it via public IP address. Okay, so now let's click on overview. So let's go ahead and copy the public IP address and open it here. We should see the same website. Press enter. So if it's not working because we didn't allow the port 80. So I will show you guys how to enable it. Okay, so it's not working right now. So let's go back. We're going to click on the networking. Let's go ahead and add inbound port role. And then we're going to click on custom. We're going to select HTTP. Okay. And then let's click add. It's going to add a new role. So it's basically it's going to allow the HTTP traffic. Okay, great. So now let's go back to the overview and copy the public IP address again. Open another tab. Paste it. Press enter. We should see the website. As you guys can see, it's working fine. So this website here is accessible everywhere. So that's it guys, just to recap, in this video, we did learn how to create a virtual machine, install the web server IIS, and then deploy a website from a local machine into the Microsoft Azure virtual machine. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. As always, peace.